offense, we never painted. We just, it was just three plays, and it was still the first quarter. We had, there was a whole lot of ball left to be played, and we just came together as a group and rallied and went up from there. I mean, none of the guys ever, like, looked down when they scored again. We just stayed positive and kept driving. Do you guys feel like you were playing PlayStation out there, the way you two guys were going at it and on offense? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. It's just, you know, we had them on the ropes at times, and then we let them get away on defense. But... Like, for our job on offense do is to score every time we get the ball. So, rather they score or not, we got to score too. So, it's just a mindset thing for us in defense. You know, they probably didn't play their best game, but they came up big at the end. And, you know, that's what that's what the team is for. You know, offense, defense, and special teams. And next week, we just got to be better at what we do. And I think we'll have a great game next week. Were you about to run out of gas there when you got down <laughs> to the 10-yard line? It looked like you were just giving out there. Well, at first, I didn't think nobody was still chasing me because every time I looked, you know, it looked like I was pulling away and then when I slowed down by the 20 yard line I saw one guy and I was like oh I gotta die for it because he got a pretty good angle but I mean you know I was determined to go I said I got this far there's no need to you know let them call it out on the one yard line so you know I just made sure I got in. That also allowed you to tie DA with the all-time record. Um, that's you know that's, that's a good, good sign but I can break it next week but you know it'd be more important if I don't break it and we still win the game next week but you know I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to tie and hopefully I do break it next week. But, you know, that's be all on the play call. Biggest thing is to win the game next week, and, you know, that, that'll tell us where we'll go after that. But we just got to stay focused and execute the game plan. You send him a text and tell him you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna you at least tied with him, but you're going to get him now? <laughs> yeah, I'll call him probably tonight or after tomorrow and let him know, you know, I'm going to break his record or something like that. I talked to him every Sunday, so he's probably going to have some words for me, but that's just Dwayne and me. But, um I'll give him a call tomorrow. And you also tied it more style because I don't think Dwayne ever had a 61-yard touchdown. Well, he, he nah, I think the most he had was like 55 <laughs> maybe. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I just had an opportunity to catch a longer pass than he did. I had to run farther on mine than he did. But, you know, it just goes to show how versatile we are in this offense and things like that. So, you know, it's just a good opportunity for us to just make plays when Coach calls our number. Were you surprised to be so open on that play? Um, no, actually, I, like a guy whiffed like on the tackle. So that's what he's sprung me, but other than that, I mean, I knew it was going to be open because they were keen on Sammy the whole game, and that's what happened when you got more than one player that can get the job done. Guys, key on one guy, and other guys beat you, so we just got to keep playing our game, and we'll be fine. They reviewed that play. Did you know you got down there? Um, yeah, I know I had it, but, you know, last year I stepped out at the three-yard line at their place, and they said I stepped out, so I was determined to get it this year. I wasn't going to step out of bounds this time. <laughs>